Welcome everybody, this is the best mage tower in the game, quick version. And instead of going into all the numbers and all the details, I'm just going to give you guys my just basic thoughts about these towers and talk about whether or not they are good or not, or you should use them or and or buy them if you haven't bought them. Um, so I'm just going to give you guys a list right from the bottom here. Uh, in my opinion, the Arborine Emissary is the worst mage tower because it really takes you to do a lot of stuff to make it usable, which is not a way that I usually want to use my towers. I don't usually want to have a barracks and other towers combined together to make him usable. I just want a tower that's going to do damage and do something about it, right? So Arborine Emissary is not awful, but it is not going to make it high on my list here. It's got to be at the bottom. Then we go to Elven Stargazer, which the biggest problem with it is the Rising Star. It does not work well. Um, its consistency is okay with the damage, but the Rising Star doesn't work well with the abilities. That means it's kind of upsetting to use. Like, if you can't use uh, the abilities effectively, it's, uh, it's annoying to have it in the game. So Elven Stargazer has got to be number fourth on my list just because it feels like it's tough and wrong to use as well. Uh, when you feel like something is off, you, uh, you don't want to use it, and uh, it gets kind of annoying. Um, coming in at number three, we're going to go with the Eldritch Channeler. And the reason why for me is that I feel like it does not do a good job until you get it all the way up to the max level here. As a uh, lower tier, you're wasting a lot of damage overall. Very inefficient. You need to go for a high tier Eldritch Channeler. And then even there, you need to go for a full-on power overflow to make this guy worthwhile at all. Alright, otherwise, I don't want to say it's going to be useless, but not useful. All right, but with this, you do get slowdown and extra magic damage and all that other stuff. So, like, you can get a lot of things going going for you here. You can easily waste your damage by hitting a, for example, small guy here and having it not jump properly, having to reset because, of course, you do more damage over time. So it can get a little bit tricky to make sure this guy's actually getting the max damage out of the stuff that you want him to get. And because of that, he's still going to end up at only third on my list. At number two, we got to go for the Arcane Wizard. It's consistently awesomely good. Okay, that's the main thing. It's very consistent. It's going to attack the exact same way every single time. It's going to disintegrate, which is going to be the best boss killer in the entire game by far. It's one of the main reasons why I put it high on any of my lists is because it's the boss killer. It's the best boss killer in the game by, like, five times. Like, there's no other tower that even comes close to the disintegrate uh, ability here at all. And it also has a pretty cool empowerment ability, but it's not amazing. Sort of difficult to use in, in, in every map, but you can use it on a couple maps and get it to be pretty effective. Where you can empower about three towers, and if you can do that, it's very effective as a uh, uh, ability here. And then we come down to the Necromancer, which just has kind of everything. It's why it's cool. It's got everything you need. It's got a, uh, a, a stalling aspect to it, so you just grow skeletons on the screen here. It's got a buildup of attack, which is really, really cool. It's got a pretty reasonably strong attack here, and skeletons are going to do damage on top of that attack. Um, in addition, the abilities are rock solid. We can make more skeletons and make our skeletons do more damage with the Rattling Beacon. And the Death Rider, if you use it properly, can hit so many units and be one of the most effective towers or uh, abilities in the freaking game. So, because it has pretty much everything you need here in one delicious bundle, Necromancer's got to be number one on my list. If you guys disagree with me at all, feel free. Let me know in the comments below what your opinions are, because this is all, again, just an opinion. And let me know why, though. I'd like to understand your, your feelings on why certain towers are better than other ones. And if you enjoyed, press that like button, subscribe, and have a super-duper delicious day.